As you observed in the previous exercise, even when you defined the width of the divs, they still were displayed one under another, as if they were taking the whole width of the page. This isn't what you want, meaning that you need to do some positioning of the boxes. There's a lot of power in CSS to position elements. However, it is probably one of the most complicated concepts about CSS. Now, we'll just cover one powerful technique, and that's how to use the Flexbox layout. Flexbox means flexible box, and it provides an efficient way to lay out, align, and distribute space among items in a container, or div. Now, remember in our mock layout that we have our image next to our description. If you want several elements to be next to each other, you can change the display attribute of the parent container to value flex. Looking here at our app, we have our parent div class app. And here we can add display flex. Wow, that made the child elements try and align next to each other. For it to work, you also have to give the items a size that is smaller than the default 100%, but you already did that in the last exercise. Be sure to check out all of the cool features of Flexbox in the links included in the instructor notes section. Then it's time for you to use this magic and finally make the boxes on your page behave properly.